Well, thank you so very much, Dr. Scorpio. Perhaps I could have the nursing staff come over to your house and cook dinner, or maybe they could pick up your dry cleaning as well. Excuse me? Well, like I don't have anything else other than filing your charts. <laughs> Another one's sewn up and ready to go. Uh, hold on just a minute. The Piffany Johnson did not go out and get her nursing degree so that she could take care of spoiled doctors who seem to have forgotten their alphabet. What did I say? Okay, obviously you're pissed about something that has nothing to do with me or Dr. Niles. No, yes it does. Because, see, when you doctors don't do your filing, then I have to stay overtime and do it. But, hey, I have a life of my own I'd like to live. So, <laughs> I have to leave on time so that I can go and get my Beyonce tickets. Uh, What's going on? Dr. Weber, could you please remind these doctors that nurses are professionals too and that it is not our job to take care of doctors but take care of patients' needs? It would be really nice if someone would remember that. I'll send a memo. Mm -hmm. She wants to leave early so she can get tickets to Beyonce. Is all this because of Beyonce tickets? Because I can hook you up. How's that for respect? <laughs> Dr. Niles, you're fairly new around here, so you have no idea that I take my music seriously. Mm -hmm. So don't play around with me. Beyonce tickets are like gold. All right, well, I know people, so I will make a call, and we'll have an answer by the end of your shift. If you're playing around with me, I will make sure that you work the bottom of rotation in OR3 until hell freezes over. What happens in OR3? It's cursed. Mm, so that's why surgeons keep canceling. Okay, why did I not know that until now? Figured what you didn't know wouldn't hurt you. Okay, I thought you had my back, Drake. I mean, obviously it's every surgeon for himself. You better come through, Niles. Otherwise, we're all on a pickle's bad side. Oh, ye of little faith. <laughs> I really hope she's not bluffing. Hmm. Care to make it interesting? Let's go 20 bucks. Lisa comes through with tickets. Of all the ways to spend $20. Robin and I have a bet. I bet Robin 20 bucks that Lisa would come through with tickets. Oh, Robin, bad, bad bet. Patrick knows Lisa better than any of us. Why do you think I didn't make 100? Uh, people, if you are making wagers on me. Mm. So, nothing? What? Oh, you mean the tickets. Check your email. So you, uh, you know people, huh? Why is that so surprising? Okay, hold on, you're from Texas, right? Isn't Beyonce from New York or someplace, right, Epiphany? Houston, Houston, Texas. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are two VIP tickets to my girl's cousin. Dr. Niles, you are a woman of your word. Wow, <laughs> yes, you do know someone. Uh, Jimmy Gage. <clears throat> we dated after Patrick and I broke up. You remember Jimmy? Oh yeah, Jimmy Houston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, he became an A and R guy in the music industry, and he gets me tickets to almost any pop or hip hop or R and B concert that I want. He still likes me. Oh well, that's because you're likable, Dr. Niles, and I guarantee you that you will never ever see the inside of OR3 as long as I'm in charge of scheduling. <laughs> You are welcome, Epiphany. <laughs> I'm not letting the slide pay up. Oh, Robin, you should never bet against me. Come on. You guy wouldn't have a line on Tim McGraw tickets, would he? Oh, I wish. It's the one area that Jimmy isn't connected, which is too bad since he's my favorite. And... Me too. Really? Yeah. Don't give me that look. I want fair and square. You are a cheat. You knew Lisa had the inside track, which makes me 20 bucks richer. Robin, you can't, you can't be richer when it's mine in the first place. Here you are, Dr. Niles. I have assembled the A-team for your next procedure. Thank you, Tiffany. What am I, chopped liver? No, who you are is the guy who don't know anybody. <laughs> what about Eli Love? Oh, that was so 15 minutes ago. Take heart, Patrick. At least you won your bet. Oh, no. He cheated, which means he's not getting a dime from me. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm going to make a list of all the ways that you can pay me that doesn't involve cash. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. We haven't played um, Gloop and Rockstar in a while. Kind of thematic. It is thematic. Mm -hmm. You ever see Sugarland Live? Love them. Yeah? Yeah, but I'm, I'm more partial to Brad Paisley. 
Oh, come on, you two. I hear the supply closet's available. Hey, um, don't forget to put up the do not disturb sign next time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know? I can get two seats in the nosebleed section at the Tim McGraw concert. You want to go? I would love to.